So there is no question we love our GPS navigation devices. Some of us use them every day, like I did this morning. Um, <laughs> as many as 93% of us drive with we them. Uh, but health experts warn that over-reliance on GPS is literally damaging our brain's ability to recall memories. New research from McMaster University in Canada shows solving that puzzle is really part of what keeps our brain healthy. Scientists have found that using GPS does right. too much brain work okay. for us. Losing navigational Quarter skills can lead to cognitive decline, even dementia. This is orienting, and that's for 73-year-old Kathy what she does. The stakes are much higher than those who win the race. Are you doing this for fun? Are you doing this for exercise? I are you doing it. this to keep your brain healthy? All well, the above? All of the above. I do it for exercise. I do it because I love the puzzle, solving okay. the puzzle. They're extremely convenient, but they take the thinking out of it. They take the brain effort out of it, and it may be doing us a disservice in the long run. And that's why Dr. Pyle Coley is here to talk about this. I'm so torn on this because they are so convenient. But um, I have a dear friend who does puzzles every day and like enters a corn maze and she's like, I got this because she knows how to do a map and that's probably the smartest thing. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, they're incredibly convenient, as you said, but they're creating a series of conditions that we're calling digital dementia. Actually, the neuroscientists are saying that we're losing parts of our brain that our prehistoric ancestors had evolved to use. So think about what we were doing. We were hunters and gatherers, right? Mm -hmm. We were thinking about spatial memories. We were remembering where things were, using it to navigate and to solve problems. All of that is gone because of modern well, sometimes technology. it's navigation for me to look for my GB <laughs> the maps on my well, phone. If my phone dies, sometimes I'll just sit in the car and wait for it to I charge back navigation. up because I'm like, I can't go anywhere if I don't have the GPS. And I remember MapQuest where you printed out the like the directions yes. before you left the or house. Or when I went to college <laughs> trips, we actually had a paper map where we actually yeah. had little routes drawn on the map. But believe it or not, our brain, the neural circuits, they want to make those connections. So by not doing that, not looking at paper maps, not actually mapping things out, we're doing ourselves a disservice. And in fact, we're concerned Concerned that it may actually accelerate the onset of cognitive decline. Oof. So the study talks about like orienting as a sport. What what does that even so mean? So orienteering, it means uh, not just the physical activity of getting out there and doing exercise, which of course increases blood flow to our mm. brain, but actually creating a little simulation where you go in an environment that's unfamiliar. The only thing you have is a map and a compass, and you're using checkpoints to find your way out of there. Oh. So think about going on a hike without your phone and actually using a real compass, real map to problem solve and see. So, so it's the combination of using the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain that forms memories, the combination of doing exercise, which increases blood flow to the brain, and problem solving, all of which come together will actually improve our cognitive decline over time. So this doesn't count like putting the chips in a different place in your house. I mean, <laughs> so how can we do it if we're really not going to say, I want to try and find I, That sounds like the amazing race or something. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not signing up for that. So it's Just hard. That me. is a big commitment. But on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a ton of things we can do, right? Okay. So, so first, take a different route home. So find oh. a new, different way home because it challenges your brain. It, it stimulates those sensory inputs that are different, and it makes you think about how do I get home from here. The second, turn off the GPS as much as you can. So if you're going to a friend's house, if they send you an address, maybe what you do is open up the map, look at it, put it in your brain, and then try to see if you can make your way over there without it. So really less reliance on GPS. And third is, is get lost on purpose. Take a turn in a wrong direction, <laughs> explore something different, okay. so you get different spatial memories. All of that will stimulate your brain's ability to problem solve. Sounds simple enough, I guess. I guess. I don't know. You grew up in Colorado. The best thing is you go, mountains here, that's west. <laughs> I mean, that's what you look at. That helps. Truly. And then you try to wing it from there. But it does make sense. I mean, do, can you do other little things? I mean, does it matter to do like a puzzle or to do, Absolutely. everybody talks about crossword puzzles and how important that is. Little things, I guess, challenge your mind. Escape rooms. <laughs> Those are great because they're problem solving and they're teamwork. I would say even simple things like remembering people's phone numbers or birthdays. Like, okay. I don't think I know anyone's phone number or birthday because it's all in my phone, but yeah. actually putting it in your memory, thinking about learning a new language because that stimulates That's parts of idea. the brain. Yeah, that form memories and uses both sides of our, our brain, both hemispheres or learning a new instrument, for example, that could be another way in which you really get your memory jogged. You think about remembering stuff, not just typing it into the phone. If somebody says, oh, you know, what was the first movie that Audrey Hepburn was in? You don't automatically put it into Google. Yeah. 
You actually try to use your brain. So actually harnessing your brain power. <laughs> try to use your brain. I, I know. That's going to be the key point it's that I remember from this. So Just it's, it's use it or lose it, guys. If you don't use it, you're going to okay. lose it. Okay. Those are, those are simple things we can do. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Coley. You made me think. <laughs>